Damien here, talking to you today about ESG on-ramp for small to medium companies. So the benefits of ESG for companies is that you can attract and speak to ESG funds and investors. You can give comfort to your potential customers that you're best in class ESG to reduce their supply chain risk. You can attract top talent, best and brightest want to work for top ESG companies. Positive community perception of your company makes it easier to operate and you can generate shareholder returns with positive impact. So the World Economic Forum worked with the big four accounting firms to launch a global ESG standard, which we have applied for small to medium listed companies. So small to medium listed companies want the benefits of ESG, but don't have the time, capability or resources to get started at a practical level that can grow over time. So what we've created is an easy on-ramp to quarterly ESG reporting. You start off with a basic baseline survey where you can set attainable ESG goals for the quarter, You then generate your tailored quarterly ESG action plan, progress your chosen ESG goals, compare your ESG progress to similar companies, and then share your quarterly ESG progress with your stakeholders. Then repeat that every quarter and you'll advance in your ESG credentials as time goes on. So there's eight companies already using Social Suite ESG on-ramp with 10 more expected to join by the end of this month. So let's have a look at what it looks like. First, you create yourself as a company after you've signed up with Social Suite. And in this case, we're gonna say we're a resource development company. We're 100 mil in market cap and we're listed on the ASX. So once you've created this, you get to see the World Economic Forum indicators for across governance, planet, people, and prosperity. And you can see that these are what some being um, agreed to is to be the ESG, ESG standard. So on a first pass scan of each indicator, we're going to decide if it's material to our business. So we look through each of them and say, is this actually important to me right now? We're then gonna say, is it a priority to progress this over the next three months, six months, 12 months? And four items that are a priority to progress, let's see if we wanna progress it in quarter one this year, quarter two this year, or if we just wanna do it at some point this year or, or next year, for example. So once we've set our indicator priority, materiality and time frame, we can then deep dive into each indicator to start working on our quarterly action plan. So here we're going to learn about what indica- each, each indicator is. We can put a little explanation about the indicator and we can see the little gates that we've got to go through, step one, two, three, four, five. And each gate can be in a state of either development, explanation, for we explain why we're not doing it yet, R is reported, V is verified, and A is audited by your auditor. So we can then go through and tick which one of these we're actually going to attempt to progress in this quarter. So the next stage is, here's a nice uh, report that we've created earlier. You can see all of the different uh, materialities, priority, time frame, and different gates to progress ESG have been reported and completed. And what we can do now is see our action plan for the next quarter. And what the action plan lets us do is we can see all of the different action plan items and we can select if they're in progress or completed or not yet started. So in this case, we're gonna go through for the quarter and say, you know, some of these are in progress, this one's completed, this one hasn't been done yet, and this one is completed. And what Social Suite will be able to do, uh, which is coming soon, is that as more companies adopt the ESG on-ramp, we're developing material to help them progress through their ESG action plan items, including email templates, board resolution templates, ESG cheat sheets for staff, draft and sample template policies, and this will be available in the April quarter. So we can also see what similar companies are doing. Again, this will be more valuable as more and more companies sign on. You can find out what the ESG standards are for your specific uh, sector. You can compare your priorities and your action plan to similar companies to yourself. Find out what companies like yours are committing to and delivering an ESG. And the media and public can access these insights as well. So what we want to do then is share our quarterly ESG progress with stakeholders. This is the uh, important uh, area that we want to do. So we can announce ESG adoption to the market and we can also then announce the progress of our action plans across each of the different um, uh, quarterly reports that we do every year. The next stage is we can commission media through our PR firm or however we want to do it through um, of our ESG progress and the media is quite uh, interested in this area at the moment. And finally, um, we're also working to onboard fund managers and uh, high net worth family offices to ESG fund of you, where they can manage their watch list and portfolio of companies and see the progress on a quarter to quarter basis of how the action plan is progressing for each of their portfolio companies. So it's quite easy to get started. After you've signed on with Social Suite, you complete a baseline ESG survey as you saw in the demo. This takes about 30 minutes and we'll step you through it. You then get your first ESG action plan. You announce your ESG commitment to the ASX. 
then complete your quarterly ESG action plan as a quarter rolls on, and then share your ESG progress of your action plan uh, in your quarterly, and then just repeat that process every three months and you'll soon become best in class ESG. Thanks very much.